Okay, we're going to talk about the muscles of shoulder and uh, this classification is uh, mentioned in the grace book. We're following the grace book. So different writers, the classification is different. So please follow our textbook, grace, so you will not get confused about the classification of the muscles. In muscles of shoulder, we got the five muscles. First of all, we got the trapezius, second deltoid, third levator scapulae, fourth rhomboid minor, and the fifth rhomboid major. So let trapezius is a large muscle, and uh, left side is mentioned here, and the right side here is uh, dissected. So let's talk about the origin of the trapezius muscle. Is originating from the superior neutral line is present here you can see that superior inferior neutral line on the back of the occipital bone so it is originating from the superior neutral line external occipital protuberance and the middle margin of the ligamentum nuchae spinous process of C7 to the T12 and the related supraspinous ligament so that we got here the origin of the trapezius muscle now let's talk about the insertion is inserting on the superior edge of the crest of the spine of the scapula at this place a chromium and the posterior border of the lateral one-third of the clavicle that we can't see from the posterior view so we need to go to the Little view as we can see on the little view that the little one third of the clavicle is having the insertion of the trapezius muscle. It's innovating uh, motor branch of the accessory nerve and the sensory from the anterior MI of the C3 to C4. Function is a powerful elevator of the scapula rotate the scapula during the abduction of the humerus above the horizontal middle fiber retract the scapula lower fiber depress the scapula uh, talking about the deltoid muscle second in our list so deltoid muscle here is mentioned in the yellow color so deltoid muscle uh, origin we are seeing here is from the inferior edge of the crest of the spine of scapula as we can see here a little margin of the acromion and the anterior border of the lateral one-third of the clavicle that we can see from the posterior view let's go to the later view as we can see that deltoid from the lateral one-third of the clavicle having the origin it's inserting on the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus his innovation is from the axillary nerve mainly from the c5 and uh, the function it is a major abductor of the arm abduct beyond the initial 15 degree done by the supra spinatus muscle and after that done by the deltoid clavicular fiber assist in flexing the arm posterior fiber assisting in extending the arm levator scapulae muscle from the name is representing it is helping to elevate the scapula talking about its origin is originating from the transfer processes of the c1 and the c2 vertebra and the posterior tubercle of the transfer processes of c3 and the c4 vertebrae it is inserting on the posterior surface of the middle border of the scapula from the superior angle to the root of the spine of the scapula. Its innovation is from the C3, C4 nerve of anterior MI and also from the dorsal scapular nerve. And the function elevates the scapula. Rhomboid minor muscle number four in our list this muscle is rhomboid shape as we can see here 
and it is smaller as compared to the major which is inferior to this so rhomboid manner is originating from the lower end of the ligamentum nuchae here and the spinous process of the C7 to the T1 vertebrae is inserting on the posterior surface of the medial border of the scapula at the root of the spine of the scapula innovating by the dorsal scapular nerve and elevates and retract the scapula rhomboid major muscle uh, number 50 in our list and is originating from the spinous process of the T2 to T5 vertebrae and intervertic supraspinous ligament is inserting at the posterior surface of the middle border of the scapula from the root of the spine to the inferior angle of the scapula is also innervated from the dorsal scapular nerve elevates and retract the scapula thank you